4, it is time to check out a mod that I have abandoned two years ago because I hated it. Let's see if it's better now. I'm willing to really give it my all and really get into it. The thing is, I remember this mod really changes my 4. It's like, whoa, it's a different game. You have to like build electricity, el electricity plants, electricity plants. Mm. And we're starting in 1949. Just gotta clean my glasses. This stream, man, I'm just eating the whole time. My new glasses will arrive tomorrow. These glasses are super broken because my kid has destroyed them. And I've been wearing this, exactly this uh, type of glass my whole life, like literally five five years. <laughs> and I actually ordered new glasses. I'm going to have new glasses, guys. Like, you guys never see me with different glasses. Thank you, Kavresh. Let's go. 1949. The Iron Curtain. The post for optimism of global cooperation and peace epitomized by the establishment of the United Nations has quickly evaporated. During the last war, European empires exhausted not only their own blood and treasure, but also that of their colonial territories. Now, colonized people across Africa and Asia are demanding independence. Globally, the United States and the Soviet Union are greatly surpassed any other power. The beginnings of an ideological rivalry between the two states see their wartime friendship quickly cool. Already, lines are being drawn across Europe as an ideological partition increasingly separates the capitalist and communist regimes. First question I have. If I play East Germany, can I go on my own? Or do I have to suck Russian dick? How much freedom do I have? Because I want to go East Germany, man. My home. What the fuck happened to him? Stalin is still alive. Yeah, okay. Kim Il-sung. Who's the boss of East Germany? Germany's not even in here. What the fuck? Germany is so irrelevant, but it's West Germany. I still don't know how Navy works. Just play Israel. Uh, we're going to go inside the game real quick, just to check focus trees. I'm just checking focus trees real quick. I wonder if you... I know nothing about the smart man. Oh, East Germany didn't exist yet. Oh, wait, what? How do I take East Germany then? I have to play Germany and release myself or something? My glasses are from the 70s? What are you talking about? Play Greece! Play this! Play that! Play this and that! The loading time is big, that means it's a big mod. Tommy, please play Azerbaijan! Please! Because he's totally gonna listen to me! Fuck you, John. Play with my balls. The loading time is ultra. This is the longest loading time I've ever had. Let's check some focus trees, man. I always wonder how much freedom a mod gives. Oh, mashallah. Oh, NATO symbols. Who doesn't like that? Okay, the UI already makes me want to kill myself. Oh, why? Why do you have to do UIs like this? Why do you got to do this? Is this TNO with extra steps? I never understand that. You make a really nice mod, and then you shit on it. It's like I bake a cake for your wedding. Look at this cake. I put 100 hours into this cake, and then I take a shit on the cake. The fuck, bro? Is there like a mod that turns it off? Let's go back to Counter Strike. I want to give it a. Oh my god. I'm giving it a chance. Okay, let's take a look at Focus Trees. I would actually be interested in Israel a bit. If they have a Focus Tree. That's not a bad. Damn. Thank you, Sweaty Noodle. The problem is if I play Israel, I might get in trouble. You know? It's just a video game, though. Enter the United Nations. Shit, I'm actually mad interested in Israel, to be honest. I never really played Israel, but I already see the YouTube comments. Mapan? Mapan victory? There's two of Mapan victory and Mapai victory. What the fuck? Zionist victory. Oh, that means I'm playing American banks. Just a joke, 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 joke. Woo! We're joking. Joking. Okay, who's funny? Republic of China. People's Liberation Army. Oh, they're still fighting? Oh, they're still fighting. Wait, he's in Ukraine? Non-optimal agricultural sector. Ukrainian flag. Wait, there is East Germany. Soviet military... Ah, they become East Germany, I guess, huh? I wonder... Do I have to stay uh, loyal? I wonder. Perch Ulbricht. Ulbricht consolidates the Harish group. Marxist Leninist. East Germany requests reunification. Oh. I have to stay. 
I have to stay communist though. Which I don't mind, man. This is my home. Reinstate Wehrmacht generals. Oh shit. Interesting. Interesting. Building a China? I feel like I want to learn the mod first, but Republic of China, like old history, taking down Mao and actually. Oh, Mao is strong. Mao is no bitch. Thank you, Swordfin man. Play Albania. Hey, Turkey. What do you got, Turkey? Other than big ears. Yeah, hey, nice focus tree, man. I always love playing Turkey. Yes, he does. I'm an Okuyum. I like Turkey because Turkey has so much to do in Hoi Ford. You can go west, south, east. I love Turkey, man. Turkey is mega fun, dude. The focus tree doesn't look that bad. What is the choices? Democratic Party or uh, CHP? Hmm. Turkey is nice. East Germany is home, though. The, pro the thing is, Turkey will teach me the game. Again, uh, this mod is super different, man. There's super weird buildings and shit. Oh, the UI is mega ugly. There's, like, a park and shit. I'm making burgers. What the fuck? Naval dry dock takes electricity. How do I make electricity? I turn fuel into... What the fuck? Oh, the UI is so bad, man. The mud is also very leggy for some reason. Petrochemicals. Light metals, food, rare earth metals, construction metals, nuclear material, electricity. I'm actually feeling turkey, to be honest. Because I think turkey could teach me the mod. This economy wants on burgers? Oh, because we're America. Uh. Mm. Hmm. There's a civil war. Hmm. I sometimes wish I could talk to the developers. Because developers, they tell you what they think is their best focus trees. Iran. The Shah is still in Iran. He's so weak, though. Turkey is mega weak, too. Hmm. I feel like Turkey would be great to learn the game. It's Iran, Junge! What the fuck, Iran? Holy shit. It's like a big storyline. The National Front needs to win. And then you get Operation Ajax. The Shah consents to the coup, or the Shah refuses. Alter, look at that focus tree. Bruh. The fuck, I ran so far fast. I ran so far away. Shit, man. I, I'm feeling turkey, man, to, to learn the map. To learn the game. Look at Iceland. Wait, that's the basic one, right? Yeah, that's the basic one. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm feeling turkey, I think. I don't want to play a big major yet, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. Man, Poland after World War II, huh? East Germany is obviously mega interesting to me. Does this like my family? Um. What the fuck going on here, man? I think Turkey. Again, I want to learn first, guys. We're doing Turkey. We're doing Turkey. I'm doing turkey, man. Resident sleeper? I'm gonna resident sleeper your fucking face, you bitch. Shut up. Vietnam focus tree? Sounds fun. Mm. Mm hmm. 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 No description. Oh, turkey got no. Everybody and their mom has a description. But my Arabian brothers and Burma get nothing. Turkey, curly or mashallah. Let's go. Historical? Oh, should I do that? I feel like it's funny to not do it. Hmm. Hmm. Player led peace conferences. Oh, no. Hmm. Wait, do you want me to play um, historical or not? I feel like not. It's funny. Play historical? Unhistorical, historical? Hmm. Turks are no Arabs, Tony! 
Mm. Oh god. I'm looking for the song. I couldn't find it. Um, you know, um, um, try it out, shed. Try it out, shed. Um, Turkey biggest pop song. What the fuck? Uh, what the hell? Tarkan. Oh, Habibi! The promise I threw the Turkish flag away. What? <gasps> Fucking cancer streamer. Dude, the icons are cancer as fuck, man. No intel. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Turkey, yeah, okay. There's GDP and stuff. Economic stats are going up. Nice, nice. I make six burgers and the space race not going so well. Once I have Bayaraktar. What the fuck? European coal and steel community. What the hell? Ah, try some. Okay, let's go into this very calmly. I am Ismet Ununu. That guy's in Hoi 4. He's still alive? Ismet Ununu, popular fervor follower, 15 pp testability, highly educated, imagine that in a politician, man. It's a pro-to-EU, ah. Hero of the independence war, 10% core defense. Like Mustafa Kemal Ataturk before him, the elder statesman in Ankara is revered for having cunningly and diplomatically kept the people of Turkey out of the second world war only until the final year in the conflict. Wait, they joined? Hoping to spare the former Ottoman heartland from the same death and recession that brought the empire to its knees. Now with the Axis powers in the west pacified, Yununu stands isolated from his allies in the west. And with the increasing radicalism in Turkey, neighbors in the south, and the looming threat of a new proletarian empire lurking beyond the Black Sea, it falls upon the shoulders of the wise Turkish veteran to tread the narrow path of maintaining the discipline and development of the Turkish state amidst an increasingly volatile Middle East. We will take care of it. National monopolies. Okay, I have stability, but I can't really build. Uh, I think industrial park is a SIF. European development. This is EU or some shit? Economic integration is non existent with no organization. Political. What? We're gonna figure it out. National resource modifiers. The country gains the following resource bonuses from technology and imports, but loses the following resources penalties from building upkeep and exports. I think this is telling me how much steel I currently need or something. Hmm. Hmm. And the Turkish people eat five kebabs a day. I am a socialist. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, they even have a they even have a story, man. Financial policies. Ach du Scheiße. Volunteer only, export focus, civilian economy, unarmed nuclear stockpile, UN member. Designers, military maintenance, low and high, welfare spending, low and high, politics and intelligence gives you like bonuses. For example, welfare gives you PP and construction speed and the army maintenance. Public education policy, research speed and stuff, construction speed, uh, healthcare, population growth and efficiency, and public services repairing. Social policies, religious policies, moralism, war support, pop growth, minus 10 research. <laughs> I could make a joke here. I'm not. Sex laws, regressive saga laws. What? What does that mean, saga? Uh, sexual. Women right, traditionalist. The women stay home. I should get more population. Oh, there we go. Growth. Nice, nice, nice. Labor loss is... Where am I? I don't understand where I am. There's no green. It means second is nuts. 
Sega Mega Drive. Sega Mega Sex Drive. Okay. Media laws. State media. <laughs> Erdogan. Minority rights. Repressive. Okay. Raises racial tensions over time. <gasps> so, okay. Shit, this mod is deep, man. Let's go through this. Decisions. Foreign policies. Nothing. European coal steel community. No idea what that means. Turkish report of foreign influence. The US and America would influence me. Okay, that's like uh, Millennium Dawn. Economic decisions. Take economic decisions in your country. This can be anything from imposing measures, seeking or offering foreign aid, taking out loans, or other economic decisions. Be sure to check the descriptions of the loans for return time and annual interest in other conditions. Domestic bond pools uh, are determined by the number of office parks. Domestic bond pools are determined. I don't know what that means, man. Monthly balance is plus 1.7 billion. No debt. Remaining available domestic bonds. I don't even know what that means. As a Turk, this level of inaccuracy gives me AIDS. Walla ciao! Habibi! Hey, Mustafa! Mustafa! Where are you? You're in the coffee? Stop drinking... Stop smoking shisha. Tommy K is streaming Turkey. Yes? And the mod is inaccurate. Walla, I swear! Come! Come to cafe! I show you! Is that this fuck? I'm calling all my cousins. Okay, um... Hide all economic decisions. Talk a loan amount? Take out domestic bonds. Loan from certain people? Request financial aid from China and pay off my debt. Economic investments. Auto queue. Why would I auto queue constructions? Why would I do that? You get water infrastructure. Ach du Scheiße. Add fossil fuel power plants. Ach du Scheiße. Why would I auto queue? Can't I just build myself? Military equipment purchase. Purchase equipment from a variety of contractors to bolster military exchange for money. Uh, negotiate arms contracts to purchase specialized and advanced equipment. Spending more money than you have will occur in debts. Equipment cooldown. Naval cooldown. I can buy equipment here. 400 billion? 400 billion for 240 planes? What is this? The fuck? Become a NATO aspirant. Performance and variable calc. Ignore this. I need to ignore this. Okay. Is there a Vatican? I just saw that. Hey, who's the Pope then? Oh, Pius is still the Pope. Okay, okay, okay. We got Turkish music. Oh, I have a lot to learn. The UI is fucking ridiculously ugly, man, by the way. I know. I don't know why they ever do that. So that's that. Intelligence, we all know what's going on here. Okay. Research, epic research. Well, Islam, not so good at research. What you mean, Habibi? Wait. Diplomacy, no one cares. Trade. I have a lot of steel, okay. Construction materials and light metals. I need to sell that shit. Construcciones, so here we go. State infrastructure increases resource output and state supply. Okay, can sometimes uncover hidden resource deposits. That's so cool. You can uncover hidden resources if you build infrastructure. That is fucking epic, man. That is cool. That's sick, okay. Um, water infrastructure. Water infrastructure provides bonuses for agricultural production. At least one is required for full agri industrial complex. I feel like playing Stellaris. Every level of water infrastructure past level one gives 25% agri industrial complex food output. Thank you, Kluman. Civil defense shelter. Okay, that's like North Korean shit. Municipal infrastructure. Eight cities and urban industry. It gives industrial park output and construction speed. Research infra municipal technology projects increase max level. What the fuck's industrial park output? Air base, anti-air, fuel reserves, and a radar. Okay. Office park. An office park provides large amounts of income, but no industrial output. Good for paying for civil services and improving income far beyond what industry alone provides. If I have one electricity, one metal, and one fuel, I can build an office. Thank you, PC Lex. I'm kind of liking this. Angry industrial complex. If you have one water infrastructure you can build food and the food depends on the climate and where it's built for example temperate temperate climate gives you more food Ach, du Scheiße, this is crazy man a power plant turns one fuel into five electricity a renewable power plant needs to be researched and it does electricity without any fuel go green um nuclear power plant it's the best, Tommy, it's the best. I know, I know. A foundry district. They turn one fuel and one electricity into free steel and one... I don't really need that in Turkey, I think. 
I'm, I'm liking this. I don't know why two years ago I said fuck this shit. I was probably still too tall. Um, wait, this is not Turkish music? Wait, this is not Turkish music? Wow. Thank you for telling me, man. It's not? Wow, that's... Wow. Thank you, Spoonin. Thank you, man. I, I, I didn't know. Military... That's a military factory. Uh, industrial park. So this is as if this park provides the state with an industry for production of civilian goods or construction for new buildings. So it's a SIF. Yeah, a SIF needs one electricity, one steel, one fuel. Uh, a naval dock, a petrochemical refinery, okay. This building, okay. It makes fuel out of nowhere. Uh, nuclear weapons manufacturer plant. Supply hub, railways, naval base, land fort, coastal fort, and convert. Okay, I understand that. That's cool. Um, construct, okay, uh, production, cool, got it. Recruit, okay, what, what, oh my god. Oh, this, the one thing I never get, why do you fuck the UI like this? Why do you developers have to fuck the UI all the time? Like, why the fuck, man? Militia, infantry, mountaineers, okay, it's understandable. Okay, okay, okay. Logistics, sure. <coughs> Weapons of mass destructions, only USA. Hey! Was willst du, Junge? Was geht, Mann? Ich möchte dir ganz ehrenhaft zum Geburtstag gratulieren. Ich danke. Da danke ich dir. Da mache ich ein Küsschen aus Nüsschen, mein Bester. Ja, danke. Da freue ich mich. Er hat nicht Leo. Ach, Leo hat auch heute Geburtstag, wa? Den müssen wir noch schreiben. Der Leo, wie alt wird er? 14? Ach du Scheiße, ey. 14 schon. 14. Krasser Scheiß, Mann. Der alte Sack. Ja, wie geht's dir? Ja, gut. Und dir mit äh, jetzt mittlerweile wie alt? 28? Ja, ja, fast schon 29. Ach, ich fühle mich alt. Immer K.O. Ich, ich, alle, alle Muskeln tun weh. Du weißt, wie es ist, Mann. Du weißt, wie es ist. <lacht> es ist schlimm. Ja, ich habe auf jeden Fall, ich habe mit dem Chat dein Meme gemacht hier mit der Stange aus dem Rücken und so. Also die haben sich kaputt gelacht, Alter. Da war richtig was los. Nee, haben sie nicht, was? Doch, zeig ich dir nachher, schick ich dir nachher. Ja. Okay, das ist schön. Ja. Das ist schön. <lacht> das ist gut. Da freue ich mich. Gut. Das Rauchst du noch? Natürlich. Wann haust du auf mit Rauchen? Ich, ich wünsche mir zum Geburtstag, dass du aufhörst mit Rauchen. Ey, was ist das für ein Wunsch? Nein, das, das ist ein wichtiger so Wunsch. Das, das kann ich sogar nicht mit Geld bezahlen. Das geht doch gar nicht. Mann, Mann, Mann. Jedenfalls, wann sehen wir uns mal? Was ist denn hier los? Hä? Na dann. Was ist denn mit dir nicht in Ordnung, du alter Hunde? Was machst du? Ich fahr Auto. Ey, der ruft doch nur Leute an, wenn er im Auto sitzt. Mann, ja, Mann. Weil ich da, weil ich da am meisten Zeit habe. Ja, irgendwann mal, irgendwann fällst du mal noch den Unfall, du. So, pass mal auf jetzt. Du meldest dich so Ende April, Anfang Mai, wann, wann du Samstag Zeit hast. Und dann sage ich, ja komm, nimm mal den, okay? Gut, super. Okay. Na, na Ende April hatte ich ja eh eventuell gedacht, dann deine Wand zu machen. Oh, gerne. Also, ich bin bereit. Ich hab, ich hab Bock, ja. Das wäre super. Ja, das wäre natürlich auch cool. Mal gucken, halt. Mal halt mal gucken, äh, was wir da so hinkriegen. Das war ein Freitag oder ein Samstag, ist das? Ja. Das war, äh, das macht ja alle Machen wir. Das können wir auch streamen. Da machen wir noch nebenbei noch ein bisschen Money, verstehst du? Easy. Ja, okay. Ja, aber nicht Arschschritte zeigen und your N-Word, N-Word. Ja, ja, ja. Am, am besten wir streamen es nicht. <lacht> Gut. Danke für den Anruf. Ja, bleib, bleib schön gesund. Bleib Mach mal. Und äh, ich schick dir nochmal den Clip, wie sie alle sich kaputt gemacht haben. Und ja, melde dich wegen Ende April. Ja. Alles klar. Habt's lieb. Alles Gute. Tschüss. Sorry guys, that was uh, the Bundeskanzler. So, Nuclear Warfare and Officer Corps, which... There's the officer. Okay, good. I think I'm ready. I'm ready for Tulkilus! They can have 24. Okay. Shemal Tural. Okay. They look very Turkish, man. They look like... And, and I'm not gonna say something racist here. I could have said they all look like my local kebab seller, but I didn't say that. I didn't. Let's have fun with Turkey. Thoughts on John Pork's dad. John Pork, my balls. Thank you, Jimmy. 
And I think it's economy time, right? I can't even do elections yet. This is army shit. This is foreign policy shit. This is another election. So there's three election focus trees. After that, you're out of... Oh, the Kurdish question. Oh. Oh. Anyway, Turkish economy. Gain economic growth minus consumer goods. Oh, for like 1,825 days, which is 10 years, right? Is it? Turkish economy. Let's go. Okay. They have a rank? I'm missing equipment. I'm missing infantry equipment. Oh, God. The UI is so ugly, man. I swear to God. Build convoys? Okay, now I'm a weak country man. I'm building the M1 Garand. Uh, World War II trains. <laughs> okay. Uh, support equipment. Okay. The UI is so disgusting. The ugly man. Um, basic mechanized? No. A military truck is important? What is this? Being stockpiled. Uh, direct fire gun. What the fuck? Can the game please show me my resources on top? That would be nice. Uh, cause... Okay, I have only 12 electricity. Okay, okay. Okay, so infantry equipment, support equipment, trains, trucks. I don't know about this artillery yet. Should I wait for a higher level of artillery? I have no research anyway. Ay, ay, ay. What the fuck is an auto cannon? That's AA. Artillery. Light, SP, and heavy. Rocket, and anti-tank. Don't look at this shit. Look at that, 2005. That doesn't look very 2005, man. That looks like some very modern shit, man. Holy, holy, holy moly. So if I want to get, oh god, what should I do? Wait, so this is, is this, is this like a like a car or, or is it just normal artillery? Uh, I'm going for, thank you, Paradoxia. Uh, I, 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 I guess. Uh, uh, I guess I go artillery too. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Artillery ammunition. Indirect artillery. What the fuck is indirect artillery? Support? Attack helicopter soft attack. You have to research the site upgrades. Tank destroyer one. But it doesn't say what it unlocks. Is this a tank or? Let's look at tanks. Ach du Scheiße. Ach du Scheiße. Ach du Scheiße. Motorized transports. That's the trucks. Weapons of mass destruction. Ach du Scheiße. Tokamak fusion reactor. Bioweapons. HGV. Ach du Scheiße. Spacecraft structure. Rockets. Industry. Computers. Helicopters and drones. Bayaraktar! Is this Bayaraktar? I think this is Bayaluluktulum. Heavy aircraft, light aircraft, heavy ships, light ships, ship modules, fire. Oh god, combat vehicles, support. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, the fire. G G3. I used to. Uh, I literally have a scar. I said all the time from this weapon. And the German army gave all the G3s to Turkey because they're shit. G3 Azim. Ach du Scheiße, man. Okay, um... I wanted to determine if I should build artillery yet. I guess I don't. Because I guess the first years I just build up. And I guess I'm going for artillery too. So I'm not gonna build artillery yet. Okay. Maybe some transport planes. Which doesn't exist. Cool. M3 Stuart Panzer 3 Ausführung J. Is that some German shit? Okay, I'm gonna stick with that for now. Let's make this my starting build. Okay. I, I, what, again, why does the UI have to be so fucking cancer? Uh, research. Obviously, industry. Um, computers and industry. Uh, wait, I have to start from the beginning? 1945? I don't have World War II production, man? Turkey, yeah, not so curly or man. What the hell? Oh, my God. Material science. Infrastructure. I have this one. I have World War II infrastructure. Energy grid. Ach du Scheiße. Uh, construction speed plus two. World War II construction. 
Why do I have a research bonus on it? Am I in a faction or something? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Thank you, Triebflügel. G3 is a good rifle. I don't think so, because that's what they said in the army, and I saw it myself. The G3 is very hard to handle, super hard to assemble. If it's broken or dirty, it's not so easy to take it apart, especially in a combat situation. It often gets stuck. I don't think that's true. National spirits? No, nothing here gives me a research bonus. Okay, that's industry one, and I guess World War II production. So we're a very shit country. What do you mean, Turkey? Shit country. Open sifts. So if I build a sift, I need one of each. And I have 12 energy. 10 now, because I'm building stuff. So I can build like 10 sifts. I kind of like this, man, you, that you can't build infinite sifts. Okay, where's infrastructure? Okay, I have zero infrastructure. I have six in Ankara. What the fuck, man? Water. Ah, oh, scheiße. What the fuck? Check the war in China. I'm fucking bad. They're early game here. Hey, shut up, boy. Tommy, check what's happening on fucking Ireland real quick, Tommy. Can you shut up, you fuck? So, I'm building sifts. Industrial park. But should I make industrial infrastructure first? Where's all my resources? Unfortunately, like unlike in Vanilla, it doesn't show where your resources are. Uh, uh, resources, resources. Resources. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, is this making me more and more uh, uh, energy? It doesn't show it going up. That's weird. I don't understand. State infrastructure. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the resources like in Manila. Yeah, it gives resource output. That's a bit annoying. Bakure uh, Kurdistane. Hmm. The strongest state? Uh, depends. Steel. This one is pretty good. I have a lot of steel I can sell. Hmm. This is complex, man. I Should I build an industrial park just on, 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 on shit? Istanbul has no infrastructure. 7 out of 15. Hmm. I'm building an industrial park in Istanbul. Okay. Available planes in reserve. Don't care. Turn that shit off. Put the navy together. In Istanbul. Piyade too many! Decisions available. I don't touch this shit. Events or decisions will time out. No templates. Low manpower. And finally, Turkish economy, yeah, I think we're ready. Welcome! Yeah, the UI is utterly cancer. I don't know what... I, I really would like to interview these developers and uh, make them feel like... Why didn't you choose that? Well, as developers, we put a lot of time uh, of our own lives into this mod. And we wanted to make the mod very deep and clear. It was also very important to us that once the mod was done, we completely shit on it by a very ugly UI. Uh, I learned that from my twin brother who made the TNO mod, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vane. Thank you. And let's start playing. Here we go. Oh shit, what's gonna happen? Here we go. You guys, so I can't even see attrition. There's an attrition here, but it's training. Apparently, no one is attritioning. Okay. The UI is. They should be sued for that, man. It's also important to send Tommy stupid messages. Have you shit your pants, man? Not lately, thank you for asking. Cool. So if I, imagine I would have 100 billion right now. Like I have 10 billion. What the fuck do I do with that? Uh, economic investments. This is auto queuing. I don't wanna. What? Automatically adds water infrastructure to construction queue in every state that has agriculture. But that's my own sips. I can do it myself. I don't understand what I, what I can do with money. Take out loans? I could buy guns or something? Yeah, I can buy guns and shit. Hmm. Have you seen the new Brazil-China agreement? Oh, they're taking down the French or something? No. Wait, there was a Vietnam War 49? I didn't even know. Cambodia, dude, oh, look at the ugly colors, man. Vietnam North. Okay. I didn't even know there was a Vietnam War there. I thought they pushed out the French or some shit. 
Oh, West and East Berlin, man. My dad is born in 20 years in Halle. 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 That's the French Rebellion. Oh, here's the French. Yeah, now I see the French. Now I see the French, yeah. That reminds me of the first scene of uh, they were they were heroes. So you guys remember that movie with um, Mel Gibson? When they come when the cold cold run where the full many then have gone. Istanbul music. Here we go. Release of the nineteenth eighty four. In June 8, 1994, George Orwell published a dystopian novel in 1984. I'd never read that. I have it behind me. Set in the distant year of 1984, it focuses on three megalithic states and their constant shifting war on each other and on their own people. During the early 1950s, the UK becomes involved in a third world war, this time involving nuclear weapons like used over Japan in 45. Britain falls to civil war with the authoritarian English Socialist Party or INGSOC emerging victorious. In the authoritarian state, thoughts of po policed History is revised and a cult of personality to the mustachioid big brother reigns supreme. Sounds familiar. I, I've, I've never read that, man. It's one of these books every human should read, right? Uh, everybody. I, the, the UI is killing me. There should be like a sub mod that makes the old UI in this mod. Oh, God. I read it for depression. I also have Animal Farm. Burma... And Burma made peace. Okay, something happened in Burma. There's always war in Burma, but as a white guy living in the West, nobody cares really. Taking Tantun. People's Liberation Army against the Union of Burma. You're all socialists. Why you fuck you? All these communists all fuck each other up, man. The fuck? Thank you, Cody. Should your girlfriend are watching? Why won't your girlfriend watch this shit, man? Some balding boomer playing turkey in a mod. This Is your girlfriend uh, made out of plastic? She doesn't talk back a lot. During my game, that peace deal will pop up many times. The world tension is already 25. Okay. Treaty of the end of the Greek Civil War. I'm actually learning history from this. I, dude, 1945 till 1991, I don't know much, man. I don't give. I never gave a fuck. After three years and six months of fighting, almost 50,000 dead. Holy shit. And thousands missing, the Greek civil war is over. With the Kingdom of Greece defeating the provisional democratic government led by the Communist Party of Greece. Thanks to American aid via the Marshall Plan and the Truman Doctrine, the Royalist forces gained the upper hand against the Communists, which were supposed which were supported by the Soviet Union and various other socialist states in the Eastern Bloc. The civil war has left Greece in ruins and the economy is hurting, and now the reconstruction of a better and stronger Greece must follow. To just ask Germany for reparations, man. That's what you need to do. The Royalist Government has already stated that it seeks to continue cooperation with the West, and experts already suggest that a victorious Greek state will soon apply for NATO membership. Putin will not come to Greece. Where's Ukraine, man? Where's Ukraine? Russia probably has a crazy focus tree, man. Not that crazy, man. What the fuck? <clears throat> they had commie uprising and regime of black generals in 45 to 91. Well, it's Greece to change the government faster than France in 1949. What? Why is Greek and German a synonym for anal sex? I've never heard that in my life. The focus tree expands over time. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Finland joined NATO today. Welcome Finnish people, man. I always thought Finland was already NATO, man. Why will they not be in? Gotta stand against these Russian fascists, man. Okay. Let's just see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. Turkish economy is gonna hit hard. Is 1,825 days 10 years? I think it is. Orléon, merci beaucoup, mon frère. Je t'aime. Oh la la. Oui, oui. Okay, let's, let's make some industry, man. Let's make some industry. Menderes, radical, Islamic, daily de la. I just... Totally, yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did they join? They applied for it, you know? And everybody has to say yes. Can you check factions? Ceasefire on Java. I want to read that. Common turn. And French Union. There's no uh, United Nations yet. And EU. What happened to Austria? Why is Austria so fucked? Oh, Austria was also split. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm learning so much already, man. 
I already see the YouTube comments. It's funny that Tommy, I know so much more than Tommy. Yeah, because you're fucking 12 and your whole life revolves around fucking reading historical reddits while I'm busy eating cookies and playing Counter-Strike. Ceasefire on Yava. The people of Yawa can finally breathe a sigh of relief as a ceasefire comes into effect on the island. Colonial and Republican forces are reported to be, insure, to be ensuring the ceasefire conditions are met. Both sides do not want the upcoming peace talks to suffer any setbacks. They probably had these peace talks in High Rothgar. Ah, you mentioned watching Skyrim streams. Despite this, there are reports of some local irregular militia forces resisting efforts by the Republican military to integrate them or disarm them. The Republican government is seeking to establish an organized national military before the Dutch accepting their independence. The Dutch forces will be happy to see an end to deadly hit and run attacks by Republican forces engaged in a guerrilla war. The Dutch have been fooked. I can't even see if anything is going on because the symbols are so ugly. Insufficient resources. I'm out of energy already? Why? I had 10 energy. Where will. Huh? I need to build energy after this. This cheap power plant turns one fuel? I have one fuel, yeah. Why, why did I lose 10 energy? Austria united in 55. The state treaty prohibits Austria from uniting from Germany. It's also in the constitution. That's why Austria still didn't unite with Germany. Yeah, because otherwise they will totally unite with us right now, right? Can you do cookies with chocolate bars? Uh, what? What? I don't... What? Turkish economy, whoa, racist. The Sickness and Maternity Insurance Act. You get numb welfare, which gives me good stuff. Remove minor welfare. Do I have money for this shit? I mean, I make 2.5 billion. Get more fuel. Thank you, Basileos, my brother. Good shit. Um, encourage tourism. I get tourism? Tourism boost. What the fuck is tourism? What? Tourism. Ach, du Scheiße. What do you mean tourism? What the fuck is tourism? Click to use chemical weapons. <laughs> I'm not uh, Saddam Hussein. What the fuck is tourism? I know what tourism is, you fucking retards. I wonder what the fucking status in the game. You wonder why I play Counter Strike all day, man? Because everybody shuts their fucking mouths. You dumb fucks. I want to see what it does in... Oh my god, man. Oh my god. It gives money, but where do I see a stat about it? I'd like to see a stat. Is that possible somewhere? I'd like to understand that. Bosporus. Where will that... Check the money on top. Oh, shit. Uh, tourism, tourism. Uh, tourism income. Ah, services. Parks, tourism, and resources. Ah. Man. I don't know why I quit this mod two years ago. I'm kind of liking this. This is sick. I just really wonder why do you always make the UI so goddamn retarded, man. Oh, Mao is winning. After a bitter campaign, PLA forces entered Shanghai victoriously. Both the PRC and ROC viewed control of Shanghai, the largest and most economically powerful city in China. I want to talk about something after I read this. I want to I want to change up my content a bit. <clears throat> but let's finish this and then we're going to talk about that. Control of the city is seen as an essential for either side to claim victory. Shanghai had to go through a lot in these last 10 years, huh? Both committed large military forces for the campaign. The ROC hoped to maintain control of the city and use it as a base to eventually restore their rule across China. For the communists, control of the city will greatly help legitimize its rule across China and cripple ROC resistance. The ROC forces fought intensely, but due to several military blunders, their forces were overwhelmed by the PLA. The PLA claims to have captured many prisoners and large amounts of equipment. Through the pictures, interesting. Uh, though the ROC denies the claim, considering how much resources the ROC committed to defending Shanghai observers now believe the PLA might have an insurmountable advantage over the ROC. One thing I want to change, thank you Sebastian, on the stream is that I'm getting slowly a bit more bored about Hoi 4, makes sense after all these years, and I want to switch up my content a bit, and I'm also interested in history, so what I want to do is, I want to play this mod, and learn about history, and then watch videos about it. For example, I would like to stop right now playing Hoi 4, and find out... I've read script more. And learn more about that civil war because I know nothing about it. Chinese 
Civil War explained. How long is this? Episode 14. Oh, here. Armchair Historian. And in between, I want to always um, uh, watch stuff like this. That's kind of the new content I want to do. Already lost 100 viewers saying that. Ah, fuck them. They're not real viewers. They look... Bitches, man. I said it, man. Toxic streamer. And that's what I want to do. I want to learn what happened there. Let's listen to my boy, Griffin. This Griffin. video was made possible by Squarespace. Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, online store, or website, yes. make it with Squarespace. Today, we'll be exploring I was how so much China younger, man. <laughs> into a communist Thank you, Taldi. Despite thousands Thank you. of years of dynastic rule. And as always, we'll need to wind back the clock to really understand how this process unfolded. Oh, Korean War is going to happen, yeah. Throughout the 17th century and up until the 19th century, the Qing dynasty loosely reigned I know that, China yeah. as it was plagued by regionalism and I mean, corruption. Keeping that big thing to make together, matters man, worse, fuck. European merchants arrived in China en masse during the 18th century. These Westerners arriving were driven by fiscal interests, and some would later say that it was the wave of merchants who would spell China's near ruin. Meanwhile, in Japan, things were looking up after their decisive victory over the Chinese in the side. Quick question. Is there an aggressive China focus tree? Uh, Japan focus tree? Because, boy, oh, they're actually still occupied. Because you know me, guys. I love me some China, bro. I love uh, Japan, man. For fake the Hugenscheiße. Ultra nationalist plot. Hattori takes over. Return of the empire. <gasps> oh. We store democratic rule. Rest oh, you can break Japan. Oh. Victory of the Kashinto. Hirohito is still alive. Liberal party. You have to play liberals, though. Oh, man. You know me, guys. I have a huge fucking memories of the firebombing. Are they actually still nuked? Where's Hiroshima? Do they have a nuke thing? No. Hiroshima's fine. There's not much... I mean, they make food here. I wouldn't eat it. Nagasaki? They're doing okay, I guess. Man, I, I really... You guys know me. I want to always play Japan. My phone is ringing like crazy. I know Japanese war. In Richard Bernstein's work, he writes this of the conflict. Japan's major goal was the possession of Korea and Manchuria, the vast landmasses just across the sea that were stepping stones towards the even larger... They recovered very quickly from the news. China. This defeat prompted cries for reform, and after a series of failed revolts, including the 1899 Boxer Rebellion, the Qing government found itself in an even more precarious position. By 1911, the government was fully overthrown in what was called the Wuchang Revolution. The leaders of this revolution selected the exiled intellectual Sun Yat-sen to be China's first president in 1912. However, their territories were limited to southern China, Meanwhile, Such a large landmass, man. Yi remained in power in the north. He was backed by General Yuan Shikai, who had the largest army in the region, and therefore pretty much called the shots. Thus, Sun Yat-sen like won Shikai over times. to his side without bloodshed by offering him the presidency. Can I cut the music? What music? Is there any fucking music in the background, man? Do spuck, man! There, things didn't exactly go as planned. Yuan imposed a military dictatorship and exiled Sun Yat-sen after he formed the opposing Kuomintang, or KMT. In I always wondered what the world would look like if the Kuomintang won the Civil War, man. You would have a democratic, well, demo, democratic China nowadays. That would have been so interesting, huh? But I still think the USA would have had a Cold War against them. Because like, oh, we are the USA, we're number one, man. It will probably be, um, I don't know. There will still be a lot of tension, I think. But there will be no Taiwan conflict. But Republic China will totally influence the region as much as they could. 1916, Yuan proclaimed himself emperor of China, pretty much missing the point of the rebellion in Taiwan. <laughs> he quickly lost much of his support, and after his death, China was once again balkanized into regions under balkanized. the control of local You mentioned your region is so fucked up that there's a word about it. Chiang Kai-shek was the same thing as Mao, and he perjured many people after evacuating on Taiwan. Lords. 
After Yuan died, Sun Yat-sen returned to China and at the helm of the nationalist Kuomintang party was able to take power and impose yet another military government in 1921. Shortly after, in 1923, they sealed cooperation with the Communist Party of China, or CPC, in exchange for assistance in ending regionalism. The CPC had been founded in the wake of the May 4th Movement, which involved a series of student protests formed in opposition to the Chinese government's ineffective response to the Treaty of Versailles, which transferred what was formerly Chinese-owned land to the Japanese. I like how the Treaty of Versailles fucked the world up so hard, man. The Treaty of Versailles is like a big, big core of a lot of issues that rose after World War One. The May Fourth Movement. Thank you, Glitterfart, man. Popularized Marxism as a radical alternative to the Kuomintang. Really, the only reason the CPC aligned itself with the KMT was so it could spread communism as it liberated each Clever. warlord state with the, the Republic. Should have, of should have purged them instantly, KMT. man. I should have seen what a threat is coming. Sun Yat-sen died, leaving China in the hands of Chiang Kai-shek, who two years later initiated what was known as the White Terror in response to a communist plot to overthrow him. This resulted in the deaths of thousands of members of the CPC. Oh, he was Persian communists. In the aftermath, communist leaders Li Li-sung and Mao Zedong began waging a guerrilla war against the Kuomintang. While this was Thank happening, you, the Soviet Union, who saw the CPC as their communist allies, directed it to take a more aggressive stance against the Kuomintang. As a result, Li Li Sun ordered an offensive to be carried out against the nationalists. It was a dis hey, force about start, guys. disaster and led to his replacement by a group of Chinese intellectuals called the 28 Bolsheviks. With warlords still in control of numerous regions and the two major political factions of China in all-out war, the situation was looking worse than ever. Seeing the turmoil unfold, the shadow of Japan once again loomed over China. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank in you, 1931, man. they sent roughly 45,000 men to occupy Chinese Manchuria. 45,000 to take no all that shit, to spare, man. The Kuomintang was forced well. to concede without resistance. Chang now understood that he needed to defeat I never the knew this CPC shit, man. I never before cared. China was fully invaded. To this end, Chang assembled the largest Kuomintang army yet, and in 1934 encircled Mao's guerrilla forces stationed in the mountains. The climax of this episode was the Long March, which began when the CPC devised a near-suicidal plan to break through Chang's encirclement and march over 6,000 miles to regroup Jesus, in man. the north. But it worked, half huh? of the CPC's forces were lost. He lost, man, he lost so much and he still managed to take China after all. When crossing the but that's what communism is, man. Every time you look at communist states like Soviet Russia, they lose millions of people. Doesn't even fucking matter, man. Shang River, a decision which the 28 Bolsheviks shouldered responsibility for. In the wake of this debacle. And it's always crazy how these little decisions in history make such a big impact. Imagine Mr. Sheikh would have... Imagine they would have been strategically a bit more intelligent there. Follow them, don't let them get out of the encirclement. More scouting, they're going north, we have to hunt them down. Mao took control of the communists. By the time the remnants of the CPC reached their northern destination, only 10% of them were still alive. Oh my Prompted god, Mao to launch they still a massive the recruitment effort. He lost 90% of his forces. If the Japanese invaded, both they and the Kuomintang would be destroyed, Mao sought to form yet another united front. Shang was vehemently opposed to the offer, but his generals weren't. They took matters into their own hands, taking Shang hostage and pressuring him to accept Mao's offer. Chang eventually your decided man. to accept and formed what was called Mao the Second Front in 1937. When Japan did invade that year, the Kuomintang proved unable to fully repulse the invaders, something which worried the Chinese people, and Mao capitalized on this discontent to recruit even more men to his cause. Furthermore, That's why I always felt like and believed that Mao Zedong was a little bitch, man. He used the weakness. I mean, there is someone coming, Japan, trying to fucking kill you motherfuckers. Like, they did very bad things. And he uses that to backstab his, his own people, his own Chinese defenders, his forces man. did not engage those of Japan very frequently. It's on the loudest, man! Make it louder on your part, you fucks, man! Fix your little audio issues, man! Allowing the ah! to there you go! You fix it now! Onslaught. After Japan surrendered to the Allies in 1945, the Kuomintang and CPC ended the Second United Front. 
it only took one year for the Chinese Civil War to rage on yet again. The CPC was now armed with leftover Japanese weapons and equipment, had newfound support from the populace, and faced a foe who suffered. China lost 3.2 million? Oh, 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 casualties against the Japanese, ah, whereas the communists well, lost fucked, approximately 440,000. Time to go to 000. Taiwan, bro. After a highly successful guerrilla campaign, both Beijing and Nanking had fallen to the communists. With the capture of these two major cities, it would not be long before Mao was victorious. So many people and dead, man. Republic of China and even more are going to die in his, in his uh, when he does that culture and thing, right? The defeated Kuomintang government went into exile in Taiwan in 1949, which to this day still has the official name of the Republic of China. Which it is. Under Mao's 30-year reign, tens of oh, sorry, Blizzard, I'm banned now from playing Diablo 4. Millions of people starved. Even so, it is still debated to this day whether Mao contributed to China's modernization or whether he delayed its development. Either way... How many people did these five guys kill, man? Like, I feel, I feel like no one is... Dude. The Chinese government still sees Mao as one of their founding fathers. Now back to our sponsor. Now back to our game. Thank you for the game. That's what I want to do. I want to. I want to switch it up a bit. I want to learn about this stuff, and that's what we're seeing right now. I'm actually learning a lot here. Man, I can already see the YouTube comments. You didn't know that yet. Oh, fucking YouTube plebs, man. Oh, my my ass is getting super glued to the letter. Karl Marx didn't kill anyone. Yeah, Charles Manson also didn't kill anyone, right? Use your head, you muppet. Back to Istanbul dreams. Hollywood. 10 begins prison sentence. Who? I'm learning so much. Who? The Hollywood 10 begin their one year prison sentence today. The group of former Hollywood directors and writers were convicted of contempt of Congress for refusing to testify before the House Un American Activities Committee on allegations they were members of the Communist Party. The convicted men. Wait, you could be in trouble for being a Communist Party member? The convicted men argued they did not have to answer the questions under the First Amendment and argued the committee itself was unconstitutional. However, the argument was not persuasive and the Supreme Court ultimately chose not to review the case upholding the convictions. Many liberal Americans believe this marks a defeat for individual rights in this country. Land of the free, man. You, could, or you couldn't be in the Communist Party? We're the freest country in the world! DEFCON 5. The Red Scare. Paranoia back then was crazy. Yeah, it was like if you were looking at your neighbor and you're like, oh man, he's a communist. Dude, I need energy, man. I had 10 energy and then I went to zero. We're gonna build energy after this. I'm even losing food now. I'm not even doing anything. Why am I losing food? Why is my food being consumed? By what? It says plus six. Why would I be out of food? It's all still a bit confusing to me, but we're gonna figure it out. <clears throat> Who the fuck was we call me? I guess back then they didn't know. Look, the point is, chat, we always know history already from our standpoint. And we, they didn't know back then that communism is so bad. I think if we're honest here, which you guys barely ever are, if you would live in 1949, there's a high chance you would be communist too. You're either a capitalist or a communist. And back then you would still probably, we have beat the Germans. Communism is the best. And then over the years you realize, holy shit, communism is fucking cancer. But it took a while, you know? We always have a big mouth, because we already know uh, have all the knowledge. Yep, yep, yep. If I was a Russian fighting in World War II, I'd be the biggest communist man. Probably not, who knows? Like, there's a guy behind me, If you don't go fight, I shoot you, bitch! Probably. Cannot be in Kazakhstan at that time. What? We only experience socialism, not communism. You need to experience a woman, you motherfucker. <laughs> I love you, bro. Very true, so many of these people just witnessed two world wars and just wanted some bread. Communism promised that. Has Tommy just used Trump today? Can I find it in what? What are you What are you talking about? Most of the shit I read in chat, I'm like, what are you talking about? Has Tommy disused Trump today and can I find it in the bot? My dad said the young days as a teen communism is better while adulthood capitalism is better. That's very polemic, but in a weird, weird way makes sense, yeah. Hot shit. Hot shit. I have 150 pp. What do I do with that? I can't really do anything political. We could go free trade. Bit more factory output, but I lose a lot of materials. I export more food. I don't want to touch that. 
uh, civilian. I don't want to mope yet. What is the difference? I lose building speed and shit. Okay, you shouldn't do that yet. Industrial concern. Well, it's basic industry. That helps us a bit right now, sure. I changed this with PP too, I guess, huh? I'm a sex worker for free to experience communism. <laughs> Would you be a Nazi in World War II? Dicker, look at my... You guys wonder why I don't stream my four. Bitch! You can't even write Nazi! You're German! Your name is German! You're a German cunt! And you can't write Nazi! Your great-grandfather is rolling in his grave in Russia right now, you fuck! What is this chat, man? Is everybody fucking retarded? Well, he's Bavarian, so German is not his, you know. I could destroy certain people's um, influence. Hmm. You avoided the question, Tommy. Would you be a Nazi? <laughs> Radio Free Europe. I actually thought about that today. It's funny that you say that. Uh, we took a walk today, and I told you about that. Uh, oh, I have to go from the start again. Okay, let's go from the start again. Real talk. Um, I live in an area where there's a lot of history. A lot of Jew stuff happened here with the Nazis and the Jews. A lot of World War II stuff happened here. I, I tell you the stories all the time, blah, blah, blah. Um, and there's a story, right? Um, there's a big street here. I'm in that street every single day. It's a beautiful street called the Karl Heine Street. And on that street is a big, big shield. And the shield tells of a story that in April 1945, uh, 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 a convoy of U US soldiers was driving down the road, people were doing white flags and they would throw roses on them. And at the beginning of this uh, colon was two Sherman tanks. The You can Google this. The Aurora tank, that was his name, and the Cleopatra tank. They then reached a crossroads, the Felsenkeller crossroad, uh, five minutes away from here. And what happened is that seven young Germans, all not named but under 18 years old, were hiding in a corner with a Panzerfaust they got from the Hitler Youth uh, shit, man. And what they did is, they shot the tank, they destroyed the tank, all the Americans died, and then the second tank was spraying the seven kids and all the kids died. And I was thinking about that today again. Um, and uh, I think I would have been one of these kids. Yes. Yes, I just, I, I, this is just honest. If you grow up in Germany in 1930, 1940, and you get massively indoctrinated all day long in school, at home, everywhere, Hitler, 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 yeah, 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 Germany, Obviously, as a young boy, you're gonna think, oh man, yeah, I'm gonna die for the Führer. You fucking go there, you do dumb shit, you get fucked. 100%. That is just, anyone else saying different stuff is just a fucking liar, man. It's it's just the truth. <clears throat> All these people running around like, uh, I would have been in the resistance. Yeah, yeah, fuck off, would you? The National Committee for the Free Europe, NCFE, recently launched a new radio station called Radio Free Europe. This new station will conduct broadcasts across Europe and the Iron Curtain to battle communist propaganda. That's cool. I, when I was in China, they told me that Hong Kong is doing this. Hong Kong is sending radio into China, like Shenzhen, to uh, to have more liberal content in China. And these students I was with, they listened to that shit, not saying any names. The CIA controls the NCFE and has recruited many prominent anti-communists to support its efforts. Radio Free Europe will broadcast accounts from refugees who have escaped communist regimes. The station is being widely applauded across. It's always funny that if you have a war between two ideologies, there's always one ideology where everybody runs away. Right? You don't, there's not a lot of... I used to live in America, I had a house and a wife, but man, I went to Soviet Russia to live in a block. You don't have a lot of these stories, you know? It's always, they're running from here to this, you know what I mean? Kind of shows you who's right. Oh, now, now there's gonna be some comments. Here comes some comments, man, I'm excited. Let's go. Can you enter the coal and steel community? I don't know, man. Maybe? I wanna be a warmonger, though. Hmm. You're wrong, Tommy. The PRC established a foreign... Oh, shit. I want to read that. The People's Republic of China has established... We're going to read everything. Oh, God. That's a lot. I want to read this. It's mega fun. The People's Republic of China has established foreign ministries in the USA and the Soviet Union after the four-year-long war and even before that with the Republic of China. The People's Republic of China is claiming their government to be the one true China, while the Republic of China has occupied Taipei. Uh... For now, it seems the USSR has recognized the new Chinese government, while the US has still recognized the Republic of China as one China. Lisa texting.
I have to stop the stream in 30 minutes and we're eating pizza tonight. Okay. Mongolia recognition campaign. Mongolia. Mongolia has had a complicated and unstable history since the fall of the Mongol Empire. In the mess of the warlord era, Chinese politics, the small isolated nation of Mongolia has, was forgotten by the great powers and thus never received any formal recognition. After Bok Khan and the occupying Chinese forces were ousted by the Red Army in 1921, the country was effectively under Soviet control and lacked any official statehood. Despite independently taking part in the battles against Japan during World War II, Mongolia's independence was still unrecognized by the Soviets. However, with the Cold War intensifying throughout the world, the Soviet Union has led to a considerable in intensification in efforts to give the Mongols recognition as an independent state. This move represents a major step forward for the Mongolian national identity and could possibly give Mongolia its status as a recognized power. I'm learning shit, man. Oh, that, that is the real king, right? That's the king that died like uh, five years ago. I, I, I see that. That's the guy. Uh... Okay, Lisa, got you. That's the king who died five years ago. I know very well because I lived with Thai people in China and they love that guy. They love that guy, man. They were very loyal to him. Uh, Siam becomes Thailand. Why? Dude, this is so interesting. I have no idea why. If you ask me, I would know. With the administration of Plek Ping Song Gung Kram. That's the guy who leads Thailand in Hoi Four. Uh, nationalist, it did not take long for the nation to be renamed from Siam. Why though? Thailand is a nation of many ethnicities and cultures, and the change was originated from the nationalist leaders' desire to modernize Thailand with the campaign of westernization, which encompassed western-style clothing, a new national anthem and flag, and a western calendar. It also encompasses the change from the name of Siam to Thailand, as a move that symbolized the unity of all Thai-speaking people. Ah, okay, it's some cultural... Okay. Including the Lao and the Shan, but excluding the Chinese. <laughs> The slogan for the campaign was Thailand for the Thai. Oh, Donald Trump style. After Ping Bong Chung Kram was removed from power during the middle of 1940s, Seni Pramosh renamed it to Siam as a symbol of the end of the nationalist regime. But when Pla Plague came to power in 49, it was once again renamed Thailand. Interesting. Abdul Hussein Hazir found that the royal minister. So he's British? Abdul Hussein Hazir. By the way, is Abdul Aziz still around? This motherfucker, man. It doesn't matter if you play Millennium Dawn or a fucking Narnia, man. That guy is just everywhere. 15% core defense, man. You don't fuck with him. Abdul Aziz. Thank you, Flavius, my brother, man. Uh, he was pronounced dead with three gunshot wounds to the head while praying at the Sabha Salar Mosque. While many did not agree with the support of the British in the Anglo-Iranian oil dispute. Ach du Scheiße. His death has sent shockwaves across the Iranian government and population. <gasps> Many quickly turned the blame to Fadajian Islam, who have long protested against Hazir and the high position he found himself in. His assassin, Sa'id Hussein Imami Esfahani, was found to be the part of the organization soon after capture. Unrest has sprung up across Tehran with fundamentalists and those who oppose them taking to the streets in conflict. This may be the start of a great crisis for Iran. I like how lately my Hoi 4 streams are also a history lesson, especially for me. I don't know what to do with my money. Oh, focus, focus. Uh, I think I want the tourism. The tourism stream is really good. I get a major tourism boost in Istanbul and in, in Izmit and Trabzon. I think that's good. Let's get tourism to Turkey. Come to Turkey, man. We will totally take your organs. There's a new CK3 DLC trader. Dude, the only thing... I don't want to talk shit, okay? I just don't care about CK3 Vanilla. The only thing this makes me excited for... Game of Thrones mod. Game of Thrones mod, man. You travel the world of Westeros and your character has duels and tournaments. Bruh. Come on, man. Dude. I want to see this in Game of Thrones. My pious white knight. You really incorporate every ideal of chivalry. This is so good. But what is chivalry against brute force? What good are the rules of combat? Oh, imagine playing the Game of Thrones mod and your character is is traveling in tournaments. Oh man. When facing someone without humility, oh, shit. and who is here not just to win, but to bury his opponent. Only God can protect against such villainy. This is so Game of Thrones. This is like, uh, uh, this is Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. They even look at the part. That's, that's, who did Rhaegar beat? 
Who did Rhaegar beat in the final? Uh, Baristan Selmy, right? Baristan Selmy. Not the mountain. I think Baristan Selmy. Yeah. Where there, that's why I love Game of Thrones. It's indicated that Barristan uh, lost on purpose. But however sincere, and then he gave the crown of flowers to the end of the And then everything success. stopped. The Almighty's protecting grace can always be helped. I think they're telling us if you win tournaments, you get uh, lot of effects and shit. At this point, Paradox are creating DLCs for Game of Thrones, <laughs> not not CK free. By more worldly. <laughs> measures oh he's cheating oh that's cool that's a cool trailer we think he's the hero and then he's a bitch ass cheater that's clever man <laughs> no no gloating not yet real strategy requires oh i can't wait for the clothes man Nice DLC for Game of Thrones. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> nice. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Game of Thrones is going to be fucking sweet, man. Nice, nice, nice. A bunch of industry. I'm finally on World War II construction and production. Turkey not doing so well, man. Is this an Al-Assad guy? No, Husni Al-Saim. He even has... Everybody has stories and shit. Your F... My foreign power projection. What's my foreign power projection? Five, okay. And like Russia has also five. Oh, it's one to five or something. No, I don't understand. Monthly gain. Konrad! Die Westdeutschen, die denken auch, es ist besser als wir waren, ja, Junge. I really want to play East Germany, man. My home. My home. That's my projection to. Ah, okay, okay. Paradox is closing two studios. Really? Have you heard that OPEC will cut production? I heard that, yeah. To 500,000 barrels of oil a day and later probably stop trading oil in US dollar. I don't know anything about that. Get the wallets out for overpriced features that should be in the base game. Yeah, we're used to that now. But yeah, Game of Thrones, man. Uh, 10 days. In 10 days, Game of Thrones. Goddamn. Goddamn. Channel number one, well, soon. Taipei. Li Zhongren. Isn't that the guy that leads the Guangxi click in Hoi 4? Disorganized. Minus 60 orc, Alter. How is he ever going to win that war? There's no way he can win that. Oh, Mao has no food? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. US invades countries that try to leave the US dollar. War's coming. Uh, I, I don't know anything about that. I don't really trust any of you guys because you guys are always people that lie a lot. Uh, US dollar.